Yeah, it was really tough. Um, you know, we gave them a good, you know, kind of good, good run for their money type of thing. But, um, you know, like they actually played exceptionally well. I think they really lifted um, as a team, which I was actually quite proud of um, from the other side of the ledger. Um, for us, um, you know, we actually had our opportunities, to be honest with you. Um, you know, and I, I mean, you know, no one likes to lose, but um, we're still quite competitive. And I thought that we, you know, we just didn't nail, like, you know, we got a lot of turnover and we just ne needed to make sure that we got our ball from the centre passes to the, you know, to our shooters. So, you know, a bit disappointing in that area, but um, can't fault our effort and our commitment to each other um, as a group. So I was quite proud of everyone. Totally. As you said, a super high quality match from both sides. I mean, what positives do you take out of that going into tomorrow? Yeah, definitely. The positives are that you know we know that we can really um, we we know what we're capable of, and it's just being able to you know keep it consistently turning it over. Um, you know, like we were we only won one quarter, so we we're only up on the last quarter. So you know, just ensuring that we can k keep above the line in all four quarters, like that's you know like we we're more than capable of doing that. So. You know, it's it's ensuring that we just keep going and and really just zone and it's it's that familiarity breeds success and you know like some of the uh, players but they actually I don't even think Kelsey's played played before with with um like with one of the like with one of the um, goal attacks she's she's like yo hi how are you nice to meet you but she honestly they they just blended in and just worked it um you know like really well so quite. You know, quite happy with what it looks like. It's just now, just that getting rid of that hesitancy of just like, hey, you know, I trust you. Like, just let it go. And Laura, what's it been like for you being over in New Zealand and being part of this thing? Yeah, it's been a really amazing experience, and I think you know what we've done in a week. Um, I'm really excited and quite proud of, to be honest. I think you know, I personally have never played mixed netball before. I've learned a lot of the boys, and integrating that has been really exciting. And obviously, as a team, you're here to win games, but it looks like you're having a lot of fun out there. Yeah, definitely here to win. Always here to win. Um, but having so much fun at the same time. It's a great crew. They're the nicest bunch of people. Um, I felt so welcome when I came in very early on Monday morning and had a couple of trainings. Um, so much support from the group. And, yeah, to be together for only a week and go out and do that, I'm really proud of it. And what's it been like being back with Irina and the likes of Kelsey again? Yeah, being back with the E and Kels has been really nice. We've been apart for a while and it's like putting on an old pair of comfy track pants, to be honest. We just fit right back together. Um, yeah, no, it's been fantastic to see them, but also meet some amazing new people. I suppose a little bit of a reunion as well with Knowles on the, on the bench. Yeah, I definitely knew what she was doing a couple of times, but I still couldn't, couldn't, couldn't beat it. So, um, yeah, good to see Knowles and even... Anthony, our um, video man from Lightning's over here with you guys, and awesome to see him as well. Um, he'll definitely be an asset to your group. And obviously, ju uh, just finally, a question for both of you, but um, going into tomorrow night's match and looking at the series as a whole, what are some of the key sort of takeaways that you get from this week? Oh, I just think it's like that nice to be able to, you know, keep, like for us in particular, like to, to um, get a group of people like-mindedness together and to, to put out a really good product and and you know like mixed uh, mixed in with the men um, as well and, and I think that's a really cool showcase for netball like you know our men just really just bring a different dynamicism mm. and, and athleticism and, and they're just so cool and it's nice to like feel that you know like moving forward like you know, if we you know Olympic games and that sort of stuff, you've got to, we've got to be able to have the men and the women um, in all our countries. So it's quite neat, nice to be able to showcase that. Yeah, I agree. It showcases the inclusivity of our sport and the fact that we can have men and women on the same court at the same time playing together. I think is really cool and such a great opportunity for everyone to see uh, what our sport can do.